Alrighty, folks. So, let's keep moving on. Next thing we have to do is our DC side. So, we need to... This has an output of 24 volts on our standard supply here. If we look down here, these connections here, this one is a negative, this one is the positive. 24 volts, can we see that? 24, okay. So what we need to do is, yeah. what we need to do is link this 12 volt supply with a 24 volt, negative to negative. Quite simple, quite easy. So let's do that. Here's our output of our, I have the positive already connected. It's just a, what I'll do is run it along here with the other loom and continue up to the panel. So I have a bit of a length on that there. So let's prepare this. The negatives. This will run up to our panel, but we also need to link it to our main supply. So let's put two wires here together. Connector on there. Crimp away. So this will run down. As I say, we need to connect it to the negative, which is this connection here. It's actually white. The positive is black. Well, on my machine anyway. And this was one we need. So let's disconnect that. Remove the wire, cut it, and connect it with the other negative that we just connected. So this will run down approximately down here. Let's curl this. Bit here. Strip that back. Strip this back. Put them together. Then reinsert. And now we have both of our negatives on our supplies connected together, which we'll need for switching. Okay, so here's our 12 volts that we will run up to the panel. 
So I'll run that along with the, as I said, the loom that goes in that general direction. So that will come up to here on our panel. And what I've done here, I've removed a bolt and I have a terminal that I will use for the DC, which screws nicely on to our screw that's sticking out. So that will tighten down and we'll bring our DC 12 volts up into here. I have a third terminal but I'm not sure if I need that. I'll cut it off if I don't. So let's get all our 12 volts and wire them together. So we have our 12 volts for our digital readout and we have our 12 volts for our temperature meter which will connect together run down here and do here so let's do that Okay, so let's check that they are all working. Let's put it down. Turn her on. All righty. That looks like they're working properly. So let's move on. Righty, so let's move on to wiring up the current regulation, the pot. Here's our original one. And what we have here is our sweeper arm and our outside resistances. So this is 1K, 1K pot. So our sweeper arm is in the middle. But on these type, the 100 turn pot, the sweeper arm is on the outside here. So, what we need to do is wire the white wire, if it's white on yours, or the middle sweeper arm to the top here. Let me see that. Focus there. So, white here, and then the other ones, we have both outside terminals, we will get to. So let's do that first. Okay, so a sensor wire, positive, needs to connect to the white wire, where our sweeper arm is. So let's wire these two together. And Next black wire needs to connect 
also with their black sense wire. So let's connect these two together. Black with black. So black with black on the middle terminal. Okay, let's test that and see what we got. Okay, so let's turn on. We have zero volts. Let's dial it up. And there we go. Let's test fire that. Make sure everything's working. Put our lid down. Safety reasons. Okay. Dial it back down. Okay, it's too low. Need to get up to about 0.3, I think. There we go. And of course, this will ramp up all the way to 5 volts. Which is maximum. So, in between there, you can adjust. Give you a lot of play. There we go, just over 5 volts. All well, that's working perfectly. So, just to run through one more time. What we have is white, black, green. If you go back to our original pot, you'll see this correspond. This is the sweeper arm. Now the two are our outside connections. And then our positive is on the sweeper arm. And our negative sense wire is on the black wire in the middle. Going over our DVM. Alright. So, let's get the heat shrink on them and sew that up.